Hello, welcome back to uh, Guild in the studio, also at home. We are still in quarantine here in Michigan and I wanna talk about our DM prep tools. Specifically, I wanna go over the Encounter Pad version two. Uh, we've made a few improvements here and I wanna talk through some of the decisions we made that might be a little more subtle. First, just like all of our products, we had used a red ink instead of a black ink. Uh, this is just simply to provide contrast between the marks that you make on it with pencil and the marks that are printed on the sheet. Next, we've used a half sheet size. Uh, this is specifically just to save room behind your DM screen. Uh, it can get pretty cluttered back there. Um, we all have our own methods of shorthand and preparation. I usually have a, you know, a couple of books open, stacked up. Um, and yeah, so the half sheets, we always try to keep things as small as possible to make sure that you have plenty of room behind there. The biggest difference in this second version is that we have designed them so that you can easily have a couple of classes of the same monster type on one sheet. Usually when I'm designing an encounter, I'm gonna have a couple of different classes of the same enemy general type. So a hobgoblin and a hobgoblin captain, for instance. And these sheets are designed so that you can use them for one enemy, or a couple of classes of the same enemy, and it's gonna fit well on the same sheet. Um, we've just layered the uh, ability scores here. Everything has a little like notch in the middle so you can keep track of uh, who's who. Um, this is notched in the middle here, so you can put one enemy on one side and one on the other. Um, like I said, everything is designed so that in your whatever form of your own shorthand you've developed for your encounters, it'll all be noted right there. The encounter sheets are designed to be as efficient as possible at getting everything you need in for a quick reference encounter. You can have a stack of these ready to go. For the big bads, you're probably gonna have the book open. If you're fighting a lich, you can't have all your at will spells written down there. You've probably done a ton of preparation because you're not fighting a lich every day and certainly not multiple ones per session. But for everything else, you can pre-prep these encounters and have all the information you need to run an encounter face up on this sheet, ready to go. Each encounter sheet can stack eight enemies of two different types. You can probably squeeze a third type in there if you have some decent shorthand technique. And in this version, we've included an example sheet of how we use them so that you can see how we've divided up the two different enemy classes and how we keep track of it. A lot of people use these sheets in different ways. They're just a guide to keep you organized. We also have the session sheet. These are designed just like everything else with the red ink, so they're contrast with your pencil marks. They are half sheet size to save space behind the table. The big thing with these is they're designed to be used before the session, during the session, and after the session in different purposes. So before the session, it allows you to just get a basic outline, organize your thoughts, and then during the session, you have it right there next to you so that you can keep organized and check things off as they happen. After the session, they become really important for me. If I combine them with the encounter sheets that I went through that session, I have an easy record of what happened. So when I go to sit down and write the recap and tally up XP and remember what's happening in the next session before we start it a month later, I have a really detailed and organized record of everything that happened during that session. Whether it's a combat encounter or a puzzle or an RP segment, I have it all listed out here in little chapters. I can then coordinate that with my detailed notebook or a video stream or anything else you use to keep track of your sessions. Just like everything else, Yes, absolutely, you could create and print this yourself at home, but we think that with 50 sheets per pad, it's kind of easier and cheaper just to get them from us.